Hello everybody, this is going to be a kind of a weird video here. I am Birds of Goats, I'm a Diamond 4, I don't want to say hard stock because I literally just got Diamond, I haven't played any games in Diamond yet, a uh, League of Legends player, and tonight, Sunday the 21st, is a Clash night. Now today, I didn't know if I was going to be able to be on, I had a lot of social gatherings, so my low elo friends, which I normally play with every single Clash, picked up their own Clash team today. So I said, you know what would be fun? To spectate all of their games and to kind of figure out what is really working, the best things that they did, as well as the worst things, or if they um, lose hard, I can honestly, I feel like I'll do a pretty good job of pinpointing exactly whose fault it is. Uh, I'm a tier one clash player because of my diamond status. And here's my history. Um, the last time we played, uh, we 3 0 the cup. And let's look at the, I had the most kills at 25, the most CS per game, most uh, multi kills, largest killing spree, most gold per game. And uh, I am a jungle main. And because I have almost every single character in the game mastery seven, I usually just hard carry no matter what character I play. So last time I played Viego, carried this game. We came here, I went on uh, Zin Yao, five, five and nine, honestly i wouldn't say i carried this game i did get let's see i did kill the only baron we got two dragons i got five out of six grabs and held so pretty it is a jungle diff at the minimum but probably not hard carry there and then we had a game here and i hard carried on belveth so this is what we're coming off of last clash a win and um all of our other clash times when we lose it's still a jungle differential and we're gonna see what happens i'm gonna predict that they're gonna go one and two uh without having a shot color and a jungler who absolutely runs the game uh, clashes can be over pretty quick so i have no idea who's playing jungle jacob doesn't have a deep jungle pocket that'd be scary jesse doesn't have a deep jungle pocket that'd be scary melvin is the worst jungle i've ever seen out of all my friends and so i'm really hoping it's one of these other unknown guys and hopefully they have a deep little uh pocket of characters volley bear shen velkaz one two and three for the good guys maokai amumu already looking tanky as and they lock a set too so this team lots of cc very tanky trying to outlast now the other team did ban senna and um diana great bands uh jxndr is a senna sort of one trick from last season and obviously we just saw that fizzle um was a diana one trick so we're gonna have to see exactly what fizzle can pull out of the champ pool here now that their one trick is gone hovering over ari which is absolutely diabolical let's see what jesse bans they have two extra bands here they banned ezreal I have no idea who's the Ezra player here. They're gonna get banned Nami. I actually don't mind that ban. I hate playing against Nami. So for me, it looks like Hovering Vein, Velka support, Shen top, Volley Bear jungle. So what are they gonna lock in that mid slot? Or did Amumu's been playing support so often lately that I couldn't even be able to tell. I'm just saying, oh God, dude. Melvin is so bad at Vayne, it's insane. I really hope it's not a Melvin Vayne here. It doesn't lock, matter if they lock Malzahar or Brand. I have testicular cancer stage four from this. Okay, their team is like honestly LCS team comp. Now they did pick Vayne and I get the Vayne pick, but just Melvin is just not that good at Vayne. So it, it makes sense. It's the best pick, but it's also like the worst pick in this situation. I don't know. Jesse alone should be able to poke out the short range chin in the Maokai. So I'm actually not worried about the bot matchup as well. I'm really worried about jungle. Jacob, I think, I feel like jungle is his like least played role. Or am I yapping? Hold on, let me think. No, ADC is probably his least played role. He's played a lot of top. He's played a lot of support. He's done his dues in the mid lane as well. Had a pretty big RE stunt himself. Let's actually look at Jacob here. Who finds a Mumu? Oh, this should be a kill. Instantly W's. No way. Wow. Neither of them die. Two flashes down, though. You pretty much can't ask for a better start than that. Melvin is down in CS. I don't know how with them pushing in. Melvin is going to get W'd by Maokai and queued in. Wow, another great flash. I feel like we could have seen one or two kills here if flashes were used poorly. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, I think this game is gonna be won or lost through Fizzle Tits. I'm not even joking. This mid laner, Lissandra, when I um, played with him, he played super well last time I played Clash with him. 
Not too bad of a gap in the top lane. Let's rearrange the scoreboards here. My fault. Let's make it look like it's supposed to. There we go. One wave lead for um, Malzahar right now. She'll get neutralized in a second. Top is completely even. The boys are going to get the first dragon of the game. Pretty solid. Jacob up big minions on Mumu right now. Not They can't do some sleepy Shenolts. You have to be wide awake and you need to see some good Shenolts. And Jacob can't R in like 1v3 and die, which sometimes happens on that volley bear. Other than that, even across the board, Fizzle actually finds the Amumu at Grubs. Why are you running? Wait, I would have stuck around at least to steal that Grub. The Grub was like 20 HP and then it was 6 HP. You absolutely could have killed it. Now, I was about to say, that guy should be a free kit. We just completely let the objective go, though, and it feels like you guys could have got that for free. I don't know. Big E in, root for both of them. Malzahar is going to go down as well, and that's a huge start. Fizzle getting one of those kills is pretty big. No more mana, not going to be able to kill the Amumu. Losing all three grubs there is kind of bad, though. I feel like Fizzle could have easily stealing one with a, an ability. I don't know what happened there. And then them deciding to run has been enough to win me a game. Melvin's actually going in. Hit six early. Barriers, nothing. Barrier doesn't even get full damage there, and that's going to be it. Now, Barrier is one of those shorter cooldown. Oh, the counter synergy. Oh, man. Jesse throws the W. It would have popped for true damage, but instead he doesn't get the true damage because Jesse pushes him away. All right. Set uses W way too early, and Set is going to be into the free kill there. So one kill Shen, one kill Volley, one kill Lissandra. Uh, Malzahar with a little CS lead could get neutralized if Lissandra comes to catch the wave. Um, Jacob is about one camp on top of the Amumu. Amumu is ganking though. Hits the root, gets ulted, and they were playing a little bit too aggressive here. Flashes into the Amumu's range and tries the R. I get the idea, but you need to stay as far away as Mumu from Amumu as possible if you want to get a max mold out. I think if he would have stayed in the top of that brush and then ulted, he would have at least killed Jin there. But instead, we burn Flash and don't get the kill. For this dragon in a minute and 40 seconds, I think they'll be okay. You're not killing the Shen. Is this guy trolling? You just gotta dodge it, or Tizzle's gonna sit still. Tizzle sti sits still and still kills him. I'm gonna have to look up this guy's rank. Oh, he's bronze one. Never mind, he's bronze one, 46% win rate. He's probably playing exactly like he should. That was, in fact, a bronze one play. When I gave you my one and two final rating, this better be the one. Come on. We cannot be losing to a bronze character, bronze uh, set that plays like that. Now, honestly, wow, bit of counter synergy from the enemy team again. What is they're splitting? But look at Jesse! But look at Jesse! At least get the kill. I just can't watch. Okay, the Malkai's an idiot though and runs all the way back in and gives them the two kills. I guess in the end it didn't matter, but Vayne got literally nothing from that. No assists, no kill, nothing. At least he's 10 CS up. I don't know what's happening. They're so split. Thank God the set is bronze and 0 and 3. Okay, they are finally pinging the grubs. He's walking out, still the same level. He hits the W. He's going to get mouse ulted here. No, R is in. Misses the Amumu. Max range Q hits. Ring. Okay, so Mouse is going to get Lissandra. Is Jacob going to die too, or will Jacob live? Jacob does die to a straight up R as well. But we should trade back to Mal's kill. And now the score is going to be 9-5 to five with a 1k gold lead for the boys. And it looks like they will be able to at least collect a second grub. But you would have kind of wished to have that 3-3 and not 4-2. But whatever happens, happens. Now, I think out of base, they need to be sprinting towards Dragon. No, it's actually going to be an instant TP behind from who? From Lissandra. Okay, eating into a Maokai that you know is just going to W anyways. Flashes to secure the kill, 267 gold. All right, not the worst thing in the world. As long as Fizzle can at least live in this situation, they'll be fine. All right, Jen is going to choose to sprint away. They should be able to do the dragon here. 
Stacking dragons is going to be the best thing for them because as it gets further and further, they are going to get tankier and tankier with more and more CC to lock down Melvin easily. He didn't go cleanse into that team, and so he's got to play smart. All right, Amumu. Wow, goes over the wall. Mumu has no ult though. Set flashes. Oh my god. I love what these I love these guys. I introduced League of Legends to JXNDR the Velkaz. I've played with Melvin and Jacob. I've played with Jacob for League of Legends for probably eight years. If they lose this game, I'm telling all of them to install right to their uninstall right to their face. Alright, Jacob's stuck in the pit, does flashes out. Four shot doesn't land. Set already back in the lane, kind of beating up Fizzle though. It's crazy that an 0-4 set can do that. That's kind of diabolical. Let's go back to Fizzle. Could get Ard here. No, decides not to. I actually would have. It's nice to be able to chunk out the middle. I just can't watch. The Jin has four kills. This dude has no assists. He's 0-2. The worst part is I, I know Melvin's brain. In his head, I guarantee you that he is blaming Jesse for being so split with him in these fights. Jesse was very split, but at the same time, Melvin was completely out of position for both of those deaths, like insanely out of position. Like you should not be getting W'd by a Maokai right here on the map without your support. That is crazy. So in my head, mid is the highest priority lane to get that tier one down. It really opens up the map, especially um invading into the birds invading blue you can just have so much more room to move around so much more accessibility in the fights so i always love taking down that mid-tier one first melvin cues and then otto's a minion okay he got the third shot at least jacob honestly i'm most proud of jacob with that four one and three score right now and out csing the amumu now he did not follow the timers for the grubs correctly to be able to contest those or fight for his team but at the same time i mean who's going to be splitting anyway who's going to really have value from the grubs who's going to be whacking the turrets i don't see shen doing it so it's not the end of the world but still i would like him to see him really paying attention to those uh big objectives i'm hoping come on guys drop it drop it okay Scorpion does drop it, instantly gets Maokai ulted. They actually get Jesse on the Velkaz, ignite him early. Oh, because here comes Jin. Jin flash Q auto, flashing into a Lissandra though. Almost one shot, but flashed on, and there's a great Shen ult. Nice, J Melvin's actually gonna get a kill, and that's actually super good. Let Melvin have this, let Melvin have this. See, when there's a kill, 100% confirmed like that, no ult, no flash. Let your ADC have it, especially because Melvin looks like he's kind of behind right now, to be honest. His counterpart has four extra kills worth of gold. Four extra kills. And right now, it looks like we have a solid lead. It's only like a 600 gold lead, though, man. All right, taking down the dragon. Third dragon at 18 minutes. Going to be setting themselves up for a 23-minute soul. Now, Melvin has red buff, so you can play this. And now he's choosing to play extra safe. Interesting. It's like he was playing so aggressive earlier when he absolutely did not need to play aggressive, but now that he actually has an opportunity, he's not. Very interesting. As long as he can fix the grub issue next game, this was a pretty solid first performance from him. And let's just make sure he doesn't feel like he's invincible later and are into the entire enemy team because they have a lot of CC and he might get instantly put in the dirt. Um, bot lane really struggling this game. One in five is the bot lane. Oh no, this is going to be a death from Fizzle. No, good flash out, gonna E as well. Is, oh my gosh, and Jesse sacrifices his life by kind of being in the area. Scorpion did that thing that I just said where he ults into what, three people in the background. Is he gonna get punished for this or no? Does get rooted. Jin almost face take that bush. That wouldn't have been good. And if Fizzle keeps messing around with this, he just used ult, he's going to die as well. If a Mumu Qs, he dies. If a Mumu Qs, he dies. Amumu Qs, he gets Ard. Is he gonna get queued again? He's gonna die to Space Aids, isn't he? Dies to Space Aids. What, it, what are you doing? That's a little frustrating to watch. That's like League of Legends 101. There's five enemy players. You know that they have hard CC and you're standing there without any of your escape tools. Please walk away. Yeah, I was about to say, Fizzle needs to go to a side lane and start 
gaining XP. He is now two levels down to the Malzahar, who will absolutely carry this game if they disrespect the Malzahar, by the way. A lot of people disrespect Malzahar as a champion. That champion, late game, with three or four items, can press E on you once, get some bugs, and completely you take you down 100 to zero. No way. Did they just catch him? Dude, he, he at least got one level. Okay, good juke. I would have still taken it, though. At least force the Malzahar to come and flash or something. Let's see what happens. Gets rooted. They're going to save ult. Oh my gosh, they're actually bringing Chen in. They could actually turn this and win this. Fizzle misses Taunt, though. And that might be all she wrote. All right, at least they live, though. That's valuable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maokai is actually r in. Tizzle doesn't take it for Fizzle. And now Jin's here with Ghost. Mordecai, or Maokai hits the W. Q, are them both suppressed, and that's two more kills. And just like that, the gold lead is gone. Oh, boy. But still, that is a terrible time to die. I know Lissandra is kind of dying for some EXP, but you can't die a minute before your soul. I'm surprised that Melvin is a level up on the Shin, by the way. Oh, this could actually be huge if we get a pick back here on Mal. But no, Maokai had ult. Melvin, please dodge. Melvin, please dodge. Melvin's just walking in a straight line like this is 2010 League of Legends. Melvin, please use your right click in different directions. Oh, man, this is actually hard to watch. I honestly felt like with how strong of a start they had with Jacob, obviously minus the grub situation, that they could have had this one in the bag. As long, they didn't even have to keep going sicko mode. If they would have stayed even, they would have been just fine. All right, is someone going to go for a steal? Jacob, I will respect you if you go for an R steal here. Way too late. Way, 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 way too late. All right, Jacob does get a kill. Gets slammed away. Good exhaust to kind of negate some of the damage. Um, Jesse's going to pick up that kill. Fizzle might be out. Could bleed to death, though. The shield does not come down. Shen does bleed to death. And now Melvin should... This should be a free triple kill for Melvin as long as he doesn't troll. One. Um, that, honestly, is a pretty good... That's a good game changer right there. Is Melvin going to walk in a straight line again, or is he going to learn? Okay. Made Jesse take the shots. They kind of walked out of the side there. It worked out. 18-16, 100 gold lead. Walking melee range. Someone has to be punished here. Melvin is wasting his condemn over and over and over again. Good. Jesse, honestly, I'm okay with that ult. Take what you can get because now we have Baron cooldowns. As long as Jacob doesn't impact into the... Hits the root. Is he going to run forward and get the last auto? No. Okay. Big W ults himself. I think Fizzle is really overvaluing ulting themselves, to be honest. Sometimes it is worth Ring a carry to be able to secure that kill because you're never going to probably secure your life with that. Man, this felt like a fight they could have won. The fact that Scorpion survived there was kind of a miracle in itself. Here we go. This is tough because Jacob played way better in the early game. But Amumu has been 100x more useful in the late game. Is that just by his existence, though? That's crazy. Just the character that Amumu is with the, the stuns, with his Q, the constant AoE damage, and then the R. Does that just inherently make it more valuable than Volibear? I don't know. It just feels like Amumu has been way more valuable when it matters so far. Now, I want to look at something else here as well. There's currently three yellow trinkets and two red trinkets. Melvin absolutely needs to have a blue by now. I would say Fizzle absolutely needs to have a blue by now. I don't know about Shen and Top. Jacob and Jesse were good to have red reds here, but there should not be three yellow trinkets. Melvin is level 13. How has he not traded to a blue trinket yet? All right, can't get caught before this dragon. Dragon in 10 seconds, please don't die. He's absolutely dead. Great engage by Maokai. Jesse's gonna go down instantly, pushing Tizzle into the pit. In my head, I'm running straight to the dragon. If I am Jacob and Melvin, I'm running straight to the dragon. Let them do Baron and you trade for dragon. You have such a head start. Tell me they just run through. Okay, thank goodness. All right, it looks like they're at least going to trade for Soul here. Um, hmm. I'm surprised that they decided not to TP and actually fight. It is going to be Baron lost. And after Baron is lost, where are we at gold wise? 2.7k gold lead for the bad guys. One less turret. 
Obviously, they just got the Baron, but they are going to trade for that soul. Okay, misses everything, but the turret is going to be free. Scribbin is going to run in here, maybe a little bit overconfident. Makes Fizzle come in and then instantly runs away, though. They're completely on opposite spectrum because some of them are walking backwards and Tizzle is still running forwards. Scorpion does have ult, misses the wall jump. All right, please at least kill Maokai, guys. Meanwhile, Shen is still fighting right above camera right now. Healing so much, missing every single ability. Please kill it, okay. I don't even want to talk about how Melvin just got solo killed by the Malzahar in the top lane. I don't want to talk about it. And he pings his own barrier. It seems like he knows exactly what he did wrong. So level 14 Vayne, level 15 Jin, yeah. Just kind of down in XP across the board. Let's check out the minions now. Melvin up in CS. Uh, Lissandra's still heavy down in CS. Even... Jacob, you just completed a full item. I will let your ADC have that red. No reason to smite it. You should be funneling all of your gold to, and to, to Melvin at this point. Because without Melvin, I think you guys are just absolutely chalk arena -ed. Put some respect on his name and give, it some, give him some juju. All right, so Mal, uh, Malzahar or Jin, we have to engage on the Malzahar or Jin, or it's just absolutely chalked. Like, no chance of winning if we're initiating on their set or something. Melvin still has a yellow trinket. He's making me want to blow my brains out. Mumu half HP. This could be a kill. Pins him into the wall. Now Fizzle will get that. Blade of the Rude King has all the movement speed in the world, and they do pick up two kills, And but neither of them are who they want to kill. Oh my gosh, catch the mouse. Wait, guys, we have the mouse caught. We do not have the mouse caught. In fact, we have us caught. Wait, no, 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 no. We do have mouse caught. Big shutdown, but it goes on Scorpion. At this stage in the game, Scorpion has played his role. Early game kills, early game objectives. He needs to be funneling everything off of himself. Especially when he's playing this version of Scorpion. If you want to play that troll full AP like 1v9, and he just smited the blue again. I think he's really overvaluing himself. I think he knows in his brain that the way that they win is if you have a vein that's going to 1v9 shred the entire enemy team because they're all tanks and all strong but he's not his actions aren't aligning what with, with what's in his head uh oh big team finally can't miss it all right we need at least two kills out of this fizzle goes in gets suppressed gets art into the team oh no already too dead 24 25 melvin should die as well no get saved fizzle Saved by the bell. Now, are they going to be able to stall the Elder, or is the Elder going to get taken? If the Elder gets taken, it is not looking good. Is there going to be a hero play? No, because no one is even nearly on the map. So, Scorpion goes down. Lissandra goes down. Really needs to finish that Zonia's as soon as possible. And then, honestly, after Zonia's, I'm thinking you probably go Crypt Bloom. I'm not going to lie. I would go Crypt Bloom. All right, Baron and Elder Drake taken. 5K gold lead now, but we are about to the point of the game where the gold lead is going to matter less and less as players become kind of maxed out in their builds. Big item there uh, built, Rallies for the uh, Malzahar. That's going to be extremely annoying, especially with this Elder. This is about to be so crazy. Um, BF Sword buff for Jin still doesn't have an IE yet though. This could be the end of the game right here. Okay, Melvin starting ult for no reason on the outside. I don't know if he was trying to scare them or what. Otto's a minion on accident. Q's directly into the Jin W and instantly dies. And this is going to be the end of the game, I think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not only because of Jesse's ult here. Jesse holding ult needs to hit a Q and then an R. No, I would have at least tried to kill the Amumu with that. Fizzle, big R though, gets two. Big damage on the Maokai as well though, gets three. Now, where is the Maokai? Oh my gosh, that guy's an idiot. He's so bad. He's so awful. Wait, the Jin just walks into the Lissandra passive and literally single-handedly loses the game. If they come back off of this now, this will be such an amazing comeback. 
If it literally happens because of the Lissandra double kill into a double passive kill, that would be absolutely crazy. Yeah, so overall, my notes, Jacob needs to be on timer for grubs better. Um, bot lane obviously just can't struggle that hard at the start. They were so unsynced. They literally played two characters that were completely countering each other. How many times did we see Melvin condemn out of uh, Jesse's spells? Those characters do not work together. I wouldn't pick that again. And um, other than that, the Romans were pretty good. The uh, Grub Timers... I'm trying to think, did I miss anything else? Um, they keep getting caught right before objectives. They twice this game, right before right before an objective dropped, they're getting caught. Melvin under that tier two turret in the bot. Dying to a gin by running into a straight running in a straight line, not even making it a mystery for the enemy gin. Can't be doing that. And I have a feeling that the final fight has to be happening soon. Because we have open nexus for the blue team. We're either going to see a full ace, a perfect fight out of our boys, and they're going to run it down mid and win with one wave. Or they're going to kind of just get caught and picked off one by one, kind of like how we've been seeing for the rest of the game. Two minutes until another elder spawns. Two minutes 30 until another baron. They are double buffed up. And the good guys, blue and reds, are not coming up anytime soon. I think Vayne did just pick up the red though. And so honestly, the MVP in my head right now, not MVP at all. The tilt proof player of the game so far has been this set. Starting 0-4 with some absolutely atrocious plays, coming back five, nine and eight with some good ultimates. Oh, this is it. This is it. Not respecting the Maokai R and Jin is fast. Finishes IE, he's going to one-shot anyone on his screen. Doesn't even need the ghost, he's fast enough. Even with the... Um, even with our soul here, it's not going to matter. We have to see an insane ult out of Lissandra here. Oh, they didn't even try. They just lost on purpose. Melvin didn't even recall to try to fight. And we didn't even see a single spell used. Squirpins are, but okay. Well, that could happen too. And uh, my prediction was wrong. I thought they were going to win the first game and lose the next two. They actually lose the first game. Some pretty clear mistakes there. Let me get this all on screen for you guys. Uh, Jungle needs to time the objectives earlier because honestly, they lost a lot of their uh, turrets, a lot of their extra pressure because they weren't the ones with the grubs being able to have that pressure, the extra tanks on the turret shots and everything. Uh, they need to be more in sync, especially with their character choices in the bot lane. Uh, we saw so many times that... While one of them was going in, the other one was running away. Melvin rounding around for no reason. Uh, Jesse missing his spells because they're getting condemned away. And so if they were a little bit more in sync to pick characters that work together better, I think the bot lane would have been just fine and would have given uh, Jin a little bit less of a lead. And then um, we just can't be getting picked. They obviously had to play through objectives and they lost two Barons and the fourth Dragon because they just want to take stupid fights and get caught. And there was obviously a general lack of respect for the CC of the other team. We know they have a Maokai ult, and we know we, they have a Jin W to follow up with it anywhere close on the map. So when you have those two things, you have to respect. They didn't respect it all, and they got punished for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and listen to their comms because they have one more minute of scouting. I want to hear what sort of picks they pick again, and they change, and then we're going to head into the next game.